Okay, I'm making another video for Cuban World. In this video I'm just going to show what PLLs I use. First of all, we'll start off with uh, the H perm. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And the Z perm I also use the standard. M2, U, M2, U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U2. Which is kind of redundant. The standard, um, whatever, counterclockwise C perm, I think. No, clockwise C perm, R2, yeah. That. That's, uh, I can sub one. One of two PLLs, and the other C perm. Also standard. Okay, now we'll move on to the, um, yeah, corners only. So there's the C perms and the E perm. This is the standard C perm I use, the right one. Ah, uh, the finger trick I use that, I'll show my, is I sort of grisp it like this, and just go R2. Ah, and I just use the mirror, so here is it a bit better. The D2 is way faster. And then E perm. I don't think this is a standard one, but yeah, I hate calling out Elks. <sighs> then there's the J perms. They're also, and now she the. Yeah, here they are, standard. I also use all these cases for one hand, except for the N and H, which I'll show at the end of the, once I've done them all. R perms. This is the right one. I'm pretty sure that's pretty standard. And the mirror. Algorithm for the left one. Uh, yeah, there's also the end perms. I hate, hate, hate performing these. I hate them so much. I've only managed to sub to this one, the R one, which I'll show you. You, uh, you, R prime, U prime, L, U two, uh, it's kind of Nicholas like, but not really. Perform that trigger twice, it's so bad. And then there's the mirror. I really hate those um, PLLs. Now let me think, so yeah. Then there is the F perm. I'm not sure if this is a standard elk, so yeah, I hold it with the... Those two pieces getting swapped, those two pieces getting swapped. And I use this case. Um, then there's the Y perm. Um, yeah, I use the standard one for this. That fast dolo, and then this. Ah, uh, so it's moving huge slammer. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me think. Okay, now we're doing the G perms. The way you recognise this. Uh, if you don't know how to recognise them, is the headlights. You look for the headlights. Y rotation. Headlights. Y rotation. So the bar will end up in four places. This place. Um, completely in the back. Because you can't see it from the front. One that's in the R layer, so here and here. One in the front layer, so it's the mirror of this. And the mirror of the other one. I use the out for this. This is the one completely in the back. It's mirror. I can sub to all the algs except one. That's one in the R layer in the front. And it's mirror. So, I think that covers all the two-handed PLLs, I think, oh no, whoops, forgot one. Uh, it's the V-perm. So here it is. Yeah, I'll just do that again. 
It's got three triggers, so there's well, the way I remember Then do. I like this elk for one handed. It's a bit slow for two handed. So, yeah, I'll just show you a timed execution. I'm not that fast with my hand. Yeah, 436. Now we'll move on to the uh, one handed elks I use. First of all, the H perm. I use the standard, the one with R2s and U2s. So there's R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, U prime. Either way, I know I called those out wrong. And now there's my um, Z perm. I generated this elk on Cube Explorer. I'm sure it might have appeared somewhere, but I don't know. So I find this very fast. The beginning part's a bit slow. R2, U, R2, U, and then it's R, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, R, U prime, R2, U, R2. The reason I find it so fast is that you only have to like push the layer most of the time, except in two occasions. So instead of having to go like that, uh, it only has two U's and no R primes whatsoever. Yeah, um, I don't turn one hand in like many people. I use my index finger and and more to do the R prime like that rather than that. I'm trying to move to that. I'm doing that a bit more often. It just feels uncomfortable when I use my pinky. And sometimes I do U prime like that. But more I try to do that. So, I'll do it again. R2 U R2 U R U2 R2 U2 R2 So that's U2 R2 twice U2 R U R2 U Yeah I'll just do a time execution Six point one four four. I feel like that could be really fast Maybe sub 1 I don't know stuff that up but yeah I'd also use those one handed ones on more likely big cubes because although M turns are doable on a 4x4 I know this is scrambled M turns are a bit more nice to do on a 4x4 and um, yeah any bigger it starts to get really annoying so uh, this concludes my PLL